brand new action figure from Full Moon Collectibles. The Laser Blast alien creature from the film Laser Blast of 1978. And special visual effects supervisor David Allen. <music> Greetings friends. Today we are going to look at something rather unusual. It's a brand new action figure from Full Moon Collectibles of the Laser Blast alien creature from the film Laser Blast of 1978. Just a reminder friends, my film First Man on Mars is brand new on Blu-ray for 2023. Loaded with extras and a chance for you to win one of two movie props used in the film. Please visit HorrorAnthologyMovies.com for further details. This channel is not monetized, so any purchase you make helps keep the channel alive. Thank you for your patronage. Now, Laser Blast was produced by Charles Band and directed by Michael Ray. It stars Kim Milford as a teenager who stumbles upon an alien weapon which transforms him into a grotesque killer. The film also stars Cheryl Smith, Roddy McDowell, and Keenan Wynn, and special visual effects supervisor David Allen, one of my favorite stop motion animators and visual effects artists of all time. So this video is not only going to cover the action figure as you can see here, but we are going to take a look at some of David Allen's other great films. David Allen was born in 1944, and he passed away in 1999. Here's a partial list of some of the films David Allen was involved with in chronological order. Equinox, 1970, directors Jack Woods and Dennis Muren. When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth, 1970, director Val Guest. Flesh Gordon, 1974, Director Howard Zim, The Crater Lake Monster, 1977, Director William R. Stromberg, Laser Blast, 1978, Director Michael Ray, The Day Time Ended, 1979, Director John Bud Cardos, The Howling, 1981, directed by Joe Dante, Caveman, 1981, directed by Carl Gottlieb and starring Ringo Starr. Hugh, The Winged Serpent, 1982, directed by Larry Cohen. The Hunger, 1983, directed by Tony Scott, starring Catherine Deneuve and David Bowie. Here is a trailer for the 1970 film Equinox, which features some fantastic stop motion and special effects by David Allen, Dennis Muren, and crew. Equinox, a story that defies logic, confounds belief. <laughs> Dr. Wyman, wait, wait! I can't believe it, it was just a fall. What is the secret of the thousand-year-old book? What are the unspeakable horrors conjured by the forces of evil? What is the fiendish power of the ring that enslaves and destroys? What is the one symbol that can hold at bay the hosts of hell unleashed on earth? The Equinox, proving again that there is more in heaven and on earth than is dreamt of in our philosophy. Equinox. Equinox. Here is the trailer for Laser Blast 1978, featuring outstanding stop-motion animation work by David Allen. This could all be happening right now, somewhere on this planet. It's the story of a UFO that has landed and visitors from a galaxy light years away. It's an adventure.
creature unlike anything on this planet. <laughs> weapon that might belong to us in the future, but is here now. Laser Blast. It's the story of the boy who found it, and the girl who tried to help him. What about the lump on your chest? And a world that tried to take it away. They didn't know I knew it. I want the town sealed off. No news leaks. No news, period. Laser blast. It will blow your mind. So when I saw this, I had to immediately get it. I could not believe that Full Moon put out an action figure from Laser Blast. It's just incredible. This is one of the aliens in the film. And as I like to call them, turt aliens. <laughs> because they pretty much look like turtles without the shell. But I think they did a great job. It's very small. It's about three inches in length. But as you can see, there is really an astounding amount of detail in the figure. Here's the back of the card. Ripped from the minds of Full Moon founder Charles Band and stop-motion special effects legend David Allen comes this mini-replica of the space-exploring alien from Band's 1978 sci-fi classic, Laser Blast. This long-necked legendary beastie ends up on Earth to track down a piece of galactic technology that has turned a lonely teen into a green-skinned lunatic, and now he can be yours. And I have provided a link in the description. So if you're interested, by all means, check it out. I, do, I think you will be pleasantly surprised upon closer inspection. It's just very accurately done. You know how that goes with a lot of action figures. You know, it's supposed to be a certain character. And then you get it and you're like, that, that doesn't look like the character. What the hell? But this one delivers. It really does look like the Tertalian from Laser Blast. Oh, yes. I don't often buy action figures. As a matter of fact, I only have a few of them. But this one just jumped out and said, buy me. For a couple of reasons. One, I really like the film Laser Blast. I know it gets knocked a lot. I don't give a crap. It's a great film. The technical achievements in it are fantastic. The special effects are great. David Allen is excellent. I think it's a good film. Look, I saw it when it came out in 1978 in the drive-in, folks. And it was a hoot. And once again, if you haven't already, please like and or subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.